everybody welcome back to my channel it's Christine I'm here to do my weekly review weekly wrap up I finished two books this week um, surprisingly because we had my son and my daughter's graduation we had another flood in our basement so we had all that to do and what else happened this week like it, it's just been a really busy hectic week um, so yeah let's see I don't want to get too, but there's my daughter. Oh. Too bright. Let me sort of see her there. So yeah, she graduated high school and she was supposed to get a couple of awards and like, oh, it was so screwed up. Um, some high schools got like much better graduation ceremonies. Her high school was so screwed up. They had a pre-recorded video that they couldn't get to work for half an hour. It was just, it was ridiculous. My son's grade school had a better graduation than her high school, so go figure. Anyways, um, thank God I'm done with that high school because he's not going there. So uh, this week I finished Nora Roberts tribute, and this is a standalone. Usually she has a lot of series, but this is about a former childhood actress or child actress who gets her grandmother's house she has to buy it off of her mom and they're all actresses her grandmother was a former actress who killed herself um, after the death of her son so she's going back to the house to try and revamp it kind of bring it back to life and live in it um, the guy across the road that she meets is a graphic artist and author <clears throat> and um, I, Ford is awesome. He's he's so awesome. And her name is Scylla. And things start to happen. Um, while she's revamping the house, um, her tires get slashed. Or um, graffiti gets written on the walls. And the interior work gets smashed. And her best friend who comes in to help her and her ex-husband, um, he gets injured. And there's whole, this whole mystery because she finds some letters of her grandmother's and it talks about a affair and a pregnancy that nobody knows, knows about. So it's kind of a mystery. I didn't see the ending coming um, or I couldn't figure out. I thought I knew who it was, but I couldn't figure it out until like the page before it was given away. So that was good. And you kind of, you're supposed to figure out the t page before. So... I ended up giving it a five. I loved it. Of course, I love Nora Roberts anyways. She writes excellent um, relationships, whether it be um, like friendships or partnerships, you know. I think she's awesome at that. And then I finished um, Dead Men Don't Crochet, book two in the Crochet Mysteries by Betty Hecht Hechtman. I give this a three, um, more like a 2.75. Her writing's good. It was the characters that were, there was nobody likable except for maybe Dinah. Um, this is a group of um, crocheters. They get together in a bookstore and the manager of the bookstore is one of the members and she's learning how to crochet. Um, she goes, It was, a lot of it was their attitudes. Um, she felt, uh, like she's kind of dating a cop, a detective, and he has asked her to help out with the taking care of his dog because he's a cop and it gets explained, but so she says yes. And he keeps showing up with toys and food because, you know, he's trying to help out taking care of his dog and she doesn't like that he shows up all the time. Okay. Um, but one of his other co um, <clears throat> detectives has a thing for him and she doesn't want him to date her, but she has a hard time dating him because he wants more in the relationship than she does. And then her son keeps trying to push his lawyer colleague on her and she's like, yeah, he's nice and sparks fly, but. 
her whole attitude sucked um plus she goes into places thinking that she's a detective and she's allowed to interrogate people and ask questions and then she doesn't think that any repercussions should happen to her because she's a bookstore manager it, it's convoluted but she has like the sanctimonious attitude this other lady Patricia she's got a holier-than-thou attitude because her husband <coughs> sorry her husband is running for councilman so she figures she's gonna be the first lady of the city um, Adele is a um, worker in the same bookstore and she runs the children's section and she thinks she's a better manager than oh, what is her name Molly <coughs> and so she's got a holier than thou attitude um, CC is a TV personality that um, she has to always flamboyantly hide so that she won't get it you know ask for autographs and stuff like that um, Sheila the main girl in the story that has a problem is a very nervous person and she's been selling her handmade scarves in this antique store and the antique store owner has died and left it to her two nephews the one nephew was um, greedy the other one wants to turn it into like more of a restaurant um, so the greedy one decides to skimp on giving her what is owed to her and she says well I need she pretty much says in front of a room of people give me my money or else and then he turns up dead and then the whole thing goes from there but it was just everybody's attitudes in this book and it was they weren't nice people and they weren't likable and I mean some of the people you're not supposed to like anyways because they're not nice people but mm, it, there was just something about it that just seemed to be off um, like Molly's supposed to be a likable character and I did not like her at all in this book because of her sanctimonious I can you know ask questions I have to interrogate this person I have to just take care of this and I have to do this and it just I don't know so I gave it a three and then currently reading I started this last night well actually for I'm still reading recursion by Blake Coach it's not that I'm not liking it because um, it is starting to get interesting and it's starting to be very um, really have to sit down and concentrate so I catch everything and this week has just not been good for that um, I didn't know there was time travel in this book until I started reading it of course I really didn't know a whole bunch about this book when I started reading it but there's a lot to wrap your head around um, yeah so I only read like two or three pages of it I'm still about halfway through it is about a girl who tries to come up with a chair to um, capture memories of people who are suffering from Alzheimer's and when they completely lose all their um, memories she will re-implant them the chair takes on a different meaning now um, and then it's also following a cop is it about 10 years later who has lost his daughter several years before and um, he's dealing with people with FMS which is full uh, false memory syndrome so there's two timelines there's a little bit of time travel but yeah it's starting to get really I need to concentrate now so there's that one and then <clears throat> I started this last night and got over halfway done like in three hours it just I, I flew through it. it I'll probably finish it today this is part of my triple RC challenge and it is Fay Fever by Mar Karen Marie Moaning it's book three in the fever series I think that's what it is so I can't say too much about it but it's a woman about a woman who goes to Dublin because her sister has died there and she doesn't think it was <clears throat> it was a murder and she wants to find out more about it um, 
there's it's about fairies the fae um well we can't touch on much because this is book three but there's seelies and unseelies seelies are the good fairies unseelies are the bad fairies but they're still all bad um so yeah she's trying to learn she realizes she's got abilities and she's trying to learn them while trying to fight off all the fairies and yeah it's good so yeah i should have this finished tonight I mean, I only have two days left to read two books. Two or three books. Yeah, three books. So I just briefly started this last night. I've only read two or three pages, two pages. And this was um, Straddling the Line by Sarah M. Anderson. It's book one in the Bolton Brothers series um, trilogy, I think. And this one is about a girl who goes to this um they're a chopper shop um a bike shop and she's looking for donations for her re the reservation uh, i think so and she hasn't even met them yet i like i said i only read two pages and then i will be reading this today and tomorrow the baby doctor's bride by jessica matthews it is about a uh, newly qualified pediatrician and he has retired. He's lost his wife and his son. And that's a pretty much all I know about it so far. So I'm going to be finishing those three. Because I have to finish them by tomorrow night. This one I have no problems with. I, these are quick reads to me. So I've actually been, even though I've been super busy with working, um, I've actually been able to read quite a bit. So <clears throat> what I'm going to read this week besides those I still have to do my July TBR but I have to go to the library first um, so I might pick up to all the boys I've loved before by Jenny Han it's book one in the PS I still love you series I don't know what this is called uh, but this counts for one of my triple RC challenges and my chapters recommends thing that I'm doing where I read one book a month from my chapters indigo um, recommendations list just to get points to earn free stuff and this was surprisingly on it as well as its sequel so I also want to pick up We Were Liars by E. Lockhart and but I, I was going to start reading this one and I thought no I need to concentrate again like I said this week has been crazy so I've got so many orders right now that we will see how things go but these three will definitely get read in the next two days and that is it um, now that both kids are graduated the house uh, the basement has finally been dealt with to a point um, we still might have to drill somebody come in and drill another hole for the weeping tiles because whoever did it before we bought the house only put one hole drain hole in and that's what got clogged so that's been cleaned out but we need to have them come in and redraw oh, I'm not looking forward to that one and then um, once that is done then we can work on our um, flooring still don't know if our daughter's moving out yet or not um, it's kind of up in the air but she did just pay put some money down on her um, tuition for college so yay she's got that going and I think that's about it hoping <laughs> anyways let me know what you guys are reading if you've read any of these books if you like them um, and I think that will be it for today I hope everybody has a wonderful week and I will talk to you later bye